Lewis Hamilton has just lost a legal battle. Let's get started. Lewis Hamilton's winning streak has ended after losing a three-year legal battle to block a luxury Swiss watchmaker from trademarking the name Hamilton. The Formula 1 world champion was slapped down after trying to prevent Hamilton International from registering its brand in Europe. An EU court threw out his case and said he had no natural right to the name which the watchmaker has been using since the 19th century. It pointed out the established firm which has been worn by celebrities including Elvis Presley has had Hamilton on his accessories well before the 30-year-old racer was born. Hamilton International's trademark effectively gives them exclusive rights to use the name brand on accessories across the continent. It prompted lawyers from the Mercedes Stars' company 44IP to try to avoid the application. They claimed it had been filed in bad faith, thwarted fair competition, and had not even been put to use. Hamilton International hit back with evidence that they have been selling watches bearing the name since 1892. The European Union Intellectual Property Office ruled in their favor and have now refused the racing driver's company's request to cancel the trademark. Andres Seidel has revealed there will be no rest for McLaren over the winter due to the team performing what he has described as open heart surgery on its race car. The campaign ends in just over 5 weeks time, concluding with an exhausting triple header in Bahrain and Abu Dhabi to complete 17 races in less than 6 months as Formula 1 has battled on through the COVID-19 pandemic. While the winter break likely cannot come soon enough for all the teams, for McLaren staff, they face the sizable challenge of changing power unit supplier and integrating the Mercedes system into the MCO36 after 3 years of working with Renault. Despite the lack of testing, the shortened winter break comes ahead of what will be a record-breaking campaign of 23 races next season, COVID-19 permitting. Seidel has confirmed that he and CEO Zach Brown would prefer fewer races to help with the long-term health of its staff, particularly those who travel. There have been suggestions of a number of two-day weekends for next season to assist with the potential workload, although nothing has been confirmed. Gearing up for his final three races in red, Sebastian Vettel says it's like facing the end of a relationship, although he added with a smile that Ferrari will miss him the most. This season is Vettel's last with Ferrari, bringing an end to a six-year relationship. Even before the very first race on the calendar, the Austrian Grand Prix, he was informed that Ferrari would not be renewing his contract. Instead, the Scuderia opted to sign Carlos Sainz as Charles Leclerc's 2021 teammate while Vettel, after a few months of waiting, announced he is off to Aston Martin. Vettel admits he will miss Ferrari, a team that he followed throughout his childhood due to his hero Michael Schumacher racing for the Scuderia and winning titles with them. Vettel though wasn't able to do that and will end his time with Ferrari with two runner-up results in the championship. The 33-year-old is looking forward to his new challenge with Aston Martin, currently racing under the Racing Point banner. Vettel will join Aston Martin in January with his 2021 team boss Otmar Safnauer revealing the team hasn't even asked Ferrari if they're open to releasing him a bit early. Anyways, now it's time for meme of the day and here it is. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.